All right, let's take a, a look at the uh, currencies and the metals this morning. Um, so I noted that it, it looked like the euro was in a bloodbath phase. As you know, they, they last usually five to seven days. This one was one, appears to be one day long. It bottomed on day eight instead of seven, but close enough. Uh, this morning, we've got a pretty convincing move back above the 10-day moving average here. And as you know, the uh, dollar will move uh, opposite of the euro. And so uh, we've got a break back below the 10-day moving average here. And if this should be a move down into a daily cycle low, so it should uh, stay below this 10-day moving average long enough to turn the moving average back down. It should break this uptrend line. And then um, at some point here, uh, we'll get a, a bottom and a bounce. And then we should get one more left translated daily cycle that um, should come down here and break this, this intermediate trend line. Uh, so I'm going to just throw out an idea here that we might might be uh, about to set up a head and shoulders top. So um, if this uh, daily cycle low can come down here, kind of test this um, pivot here on this previous daily cycle low, and breaking this daily cycle low would confirm that we are in an intermediate decline. But um, if, and then we get a, a bounce out of the daily cycle low, and then uh, it do, does not make a higher high, but makes uh, the right shoulder, so to speak, and then comes down and breaks this intermediate trend line. That, that's kind of my best guess at the moment as to what is um, going to play out in the currencies. Um, now, moving on to gold, um, I think... Um, the same thing happened here. You know, I, I said it looked like we were in a bloodbath phase here when we broke the support. Um, got followed through to the downside. Uh, again, bottomed on day eight instead of uh, day five to seven. But one day, one day long, occasionally you will get a long cycle. Um, now we just need to see the uh, metals break, break free from the cartel. It, it is time for the cartel to lose a battle. And I've said this many times before, that the, the cartel is going to win a lot of battles, but they won't win the war. And if the dollar is in an intermediate decline, it's going to be um, extremely hard for the cartel to keep gold suppressed. I don't, I don't think they're going to be able to um, keep gold suppressed indefinitely if the dollar is moving down into a uh, daily cycle low. Uh, so um, I'm expecting at some point here gold's going to... Um, come up, break above this 10-day moving average, turn the moving average back up, and then if we're in an intermediate uh, degree advance, it should rally enough to break this uh, trend line, break and close above the trend line. And um, if we're, you know, if we've got a, a big intermediate decline in the dollar, then uh, like I've been saying, I, I think there's a decent chance that gold could come up and, and test this uh, resistance again for the third time. Uh, again, I don't really expect that it's going to be able to get through there. The cartel has been um, pretty vicious about defending this uh, $2,000 level right here, just like they tried to defend against $1,000 uh, 11 years ago or um, 12 years ago, whenever it was. Um, they're doing the same thing here. Uh, we've the administration is trying to um, fight inflation that's the narrative they're you know they're not gonna they're gonna do everything they can to keep gold from going above two thousand dollars so it may come up and test this resistance zone again but i i doubt that it'll do it quick enough to break through this and give us a sustained move uh, so but still you know if if gold can um, finally break free you know at least temporarily that's still a pretty good move up up to uh, if we come up and test this over the next uh, two two and a half months. That's about what these intermediate degree advances run. They they run about two to two and a half three months. So, um, and that's usually gold usually has a, a run into the fall. Um, and so one other thing I'm going to look at here. This is the um, percentage of miners. 
um, above the exponential 200 day moving average and you can see we bottomed out at zero and every other time that has happened it has been uh, at a major intermediate cycle low so uh, I think there's a potential here in the in the mining stocks again I don't I, I doubt that the cartel is going to let the miners come up here and, and break out above you know either one of these resistances but even if if the miners could just even get back to 34 35 36 dollars that's still a pretty decent move from today's level uh, a nice percentage move anyway I think 35 is about 40 45 percent gain so I, I you know I think there's a lot of potential in the metals right now um, not so much in in stocks not so much in energy uh, although I think they're gonna rally as well during a dollar decline but um, stocks are in a bear market so at best we're, we probably would just get a bear market rally energy has had a gigantic run over the last two years I doubt that it's ready to trend again and probably won't be until we uh, get past that next three-year cycle low but uh, gold has just been um, beaten up the, the cartel has uh, manipulated the crap out of this sector and um, while that is very frustrating when watching that in real time eventually suppression always breaks and and when it does it unleashes a more aggressive uh, move than would have happened naturally so uh, you know it's time for the uh, suppression and the manipulation of the metals to break here at least for a, a couple of months uh, and it, it could produce a pretty nice move here as um, the, the metals rebound from uh, the extreme uh, suppression that we've witnessed over the last couple of months as the the administration tries to uh, fight uh, inflation.